EV3 Explorer is a separate program that can be used to view and organize the files that are stored on the EV3 brick. Most importantly, it has a built-in compiler that can convert your EV3 basic programs into a form called an RBF file that can be executed directly on the brick. Running EV3 programs from a small basic is called PC mode, and running compiled programs directly on the brick is called brick mode. You do not need to use EV3 Explorer to run your EV3 basic programs on the EV3. Just press F5 or hit the Run button while in small basic. However, you may compile your compatible EV3 basic programs to the brick if you want to, and then you can run them in the brick just as if they had been made by the standard LEGO EV3 software. You will also need to use EV3 Explorer if you want your EV3 basic programs to use sound or image files. These will need to be downloaded to the brick. The EV3 can only play sound files in the RSF format and can only display image files in the RGF format. Important note, the standard LEGO EV3 software must be closed when you use EV3 Basic, since otherwise it will grab the connection to the brick. If Small Basic and EV3 Explorer are run at the same time, which is fine, then EV3 Explorer will have the connection to the brick. You won't be able to run programs directly from Small Basic, but you can run them by saving them in Small Basic and then using EV3 Explorer to compile them, download them to the brick, and run them. The EV3 Explorer program will be installed at the same time that the EV3 Basic extension is installed. EV3Explorer.exe will be placed inside the folder whose path name is indicated here. For easier access, you could make a shortcut to the program and put that on your desktop, for example, or in the taskbar. The left side shows the file system of the EV3, and the right side shows your local PC file system, both with navigation buttons on top. The software allows you to select files, but not folders. If you click on a folder, it will simply open. Add folders and files only within the PRJS folder. Modifying the file structure above the PRJS folder could corrupt the firmware on the brick. In the left panel above, note how a new folder called EV3 Basic has been created inside the PRJS folder to hold the programs that have been made in EV3 Basic. You need to put your program files in such a folder in order for the EV3 Brick software to find them. Before the Brick can run your programs, they have to be converted or compiled from the small basic format to the RBF format that the Brick understands. To compile a small basic program file with the extension SB or small basic into the RBF format, and then download it into the brick. Select an SP or small basic file on the PC side and click Compile or Compile and Run to run it instantly. Do not use the download button with small basic program files. Use the download button only when you want to transfer into the brick other file types that are compatible with the brick, such as sound files that your program will use. The EV3 can only play sound files in the RSF format and can only display image files in the RGF format. The LEGO EV3 software includes numerous sound and image files in these special formats. The total size of these sound and image files is very small compared to the EV3's memory, so it makes sense to copy them all to the brick so that they are always available to your EV3 basic programs. We suggest that you first create two folders, sounds and images, on your PC and then copy all the standard LEGO sound and image files into those folders. You can find the sound and image files in subfolders of this folder. To keep the folder hierarchy as simple as possible, we recommend that you do not keep the original subfolder structure animals, mechanical, etc. Just put the image files directly in the images folder and the sound files directly in the sounds folder. Copy only the RGF image files to the images folder, not the BMP image files. 
even after you copy these files to the brick, it's a good idea to keep the two folders on your PC because if you update the brick's firmware one day, all your files on the brick will be lost. But it will be easy to restore the sound and image files from the PC. I have already copied all the standard LEGO image and sound files into two folders, images and sounds, on my desktop. I was careful to copy the RGF image files and not the BMP files. Now I will create two folders inside the PRJS folder on the brick, images and sounds. I will pay attention to case since file and folder names on the brick are case sensitive. I will also create a folder EV3 basic to hold my EV3 basic programs so they can be listed in the BRICS menus. Now I have opened the images folder on the BRIC and I will download all the image files from the PC to the BRIC. To select all the files, I click the first file, then shift click the last. I downloaded all the RGF files but some are tiny and should probably not be downloaded. Now I will download the sound files from the sounds folder on the PC to the sounds folder on the brick. And now we are ready to use the standard LEGO sound and image files in any EV3 basic program. Let's use this program to test whether we can play some of the sounds I downloaded to the brick. First, the sound fanfare is played and then a forever loop repeatedly retrieves colors from the color sensor on port 3 which is in mode 2 detect colors an array colors stores the words that correspond to each color code and the speaker then plays the corresponding sound file You will notice that the sensor mistakes black for brown at some point. The color detection is not very reliable, especially if you don't use official LEGO colors, i.e. actual LEGO pieces. The rather long pause, one second, in the program is intended to reduce the likelihood that the object will be caught only half visible to the sensor. For even more reliable recognition, you could, for example, refrain from announcing the color until you detect the same color three times consecutively at half second intervals. Although this program runs fine in PC mode, i.e. running directly within Small Basic, it is an example of a program that cannot be successfully compiled to the brick for running in brick mode, i.e. from the brick's menu system. The problem is the way the array is created. That line will have to be rewritten as shown here. 
I have also created an array called Images, which contains the names of some of the standard LEGO RGF image files that we have copied to the brick. This program should now be suitable for compiling to the brick with EV3 Explorer. Let's try that. Notice how the SB file on the PC was compiled into an RBF file on the brick. Now, with the USB cable disconnected from the brick, we can run our program from the brick's menu system as if it had been created by the standard LEGO software. Note how the image and sound files that we copied to the brick can be easily previewed there. 